Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see an interesting topic that is web concepts. Before going to my topic, please like it, share it and subscribe it. Now, what is online file sharing? An online file sharing allows you to store and access information through the clouds. Such information can be document, photos, presentations, videos, etc. I will repeat this point. An online file sharing allows you to store and access information through the clouds. Such information can be document, photos, presentations, videos, etc. Instead of storing information in your local devices or pen drives, you can use online file sharing, Dropbox, Windows Live, SkyDrive, Google Docs, SendSpace or some online file sharing services. Let's see advantages of online file sharing are as follows. Used to share large size of files. This is the first advantage. Used to share large size of files. There is no need of data backup. Data would be more confidential. Third point, no investment for storage. Fourth point, multiple people can access. Fifth point, sixth point, access the file globally. I repeat this point. Used to share large size of files. There is no need to a need of data backup data would be more confidential no investment for storage multiple people can access access the file globally let's see what is internet banking net banking is also known as e-banking or online banking net banking provides the service that allows the users to monitor transact and manage the bank accounts online one can Make use of net banking services for viewing bank account details and account balance and download statements transferring funds, requesting for checkbooks and demand drafts, stopping check payments and pay, applying for loans, paying utility bills. All the majority banks are providing the online banking services to customers. For example, ICICI, HDFC, SBI, Access. So let's see the advantages now first. Time can be saved at large extent. We no need to go to bank. So you can do in your online itself. First point, time can be saved at large extent. Transfer of money can take place in seconds through IMPS. IMPS stands for Immediate Payment Service. Third point, 24 hours access to applicant. Let's see the disadvantages. We need internet. We need internet. So, what is internet now? The internet is essentially a global network of computing resources. You can think of the internet as a physical collection of routers and circuits as a set of shared resources. This is known as internet. So, we need internet. Illiterate person may not be able to use Leak of personal information can take place. Money can be stealed by hackers. Let's see what is e-shopping. I told you in internet banking itself. That is e-banking I told. But here e-shopping. What is e-shopping? Online shopping. Sometimes known as e-tail. From electronic retail or e-shopping. E-shopping can be called as electronic retail. E-tail that is. Is a form of electronic commerce which allows the consumers to directly buy goods or services from a seller over the internet using a web browser. Alternative names are eWeb, Store, eShop, eStore, Internet Shop. For example, if we take Amazon, we can buy within a few seconds. The order will come for a few days. It will, we have to wait for a few days. We want any things we we can buy in um, Amazon or Mintra, eBay, Flipkart, yes or no? Yeah. E-shopping portals are, some of the examples of e-shopping are www.ebay.in, www.mintra.com, www.flipkart.com, 
www.amazon.com so these are the e- e- e-shopping portals let's see what is the benefits or you advantages of e-shopping convenience information and reviews price and selection compulsive shopping so these are the advantages of e-shopping first one is convenience information and reviews second one price and selection third one compulsive shopping is fourth one let's see this advantages of e shopping online shopping does not have the personal touch of shopping where we actually get to talk to a living person who can offer assistance customers also experience the lack of touch and feel the of merchandise and the ability to try the products like clothes cosmetics etc if we go to any shop we used to trial it right so in this online shopping we can't able to do it only a few sites offer free shipping of products only a few sites they can give free shipping hence the shipping cost acts as a big discouragement for online shoppers a major problem in e shopping is the hassle in returning the product and following up on our refund or exchange of item and so huge risk of online fraud so we have to remember some key points right so let's we discuss now key points to remember cloud computing there are five points i'm going to tell with you guys cloud computing stores data in one central location and provides a security first point i'm going to share all of my points to you all cloud computing stores data in one central location and provides a security an online shop i mean an online file sharing service which allows you to store and access information in the cloud e banking is the way of performing bank transactions using internet internet banking various functions can be performed by a customer using it day e shopping is the process of shopping done over the internet so all you understand my class thank you guys for watching my channel please like it share it and subscribe it follow me on facebook that is given in the description box thank you guys